welcome back welcome back got another video for you guys today here we are headed out of the Lynn Haven Inlet going underneath the Lesnar Bridge flat calm perfect day to be out there so at this point current had been absolutely ripping underneath the Bay Bridge tunnel so we were kind of seeking shelter behind the third island here if you're not familiar with the area there's four islands in the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Um, you know, each time one of the tunnels stops and starts, you've got an island of rocks around it. Yeah. Feels like it's a nice. What is it? A little drum? Uh, no, it's all right. So we wasted a quite a long time uh, just hiding behind the island to get out of the current. It wasn't really worth messing around up underneath the bridge pilings. Pretty uh, little fish. Like I said, I mean, I think at one point I tied on like six ounces and just That's couldn't keep fish, bottom, you know, drifting way behind the boat every time I tried to get something down to the bottom. We originally wanted to catch sheep's head today, but because of the cold weather lately, you can't really get any filler crabs, so we settled for some blue crabs and decided to try and catch a couple of hog. The current did eventually start to ease up on us. Uh, by the time it did, we were just ready to go. Yeah, but go here's ahead. a couple clips. Uh, pro tip, if you don't have a spot lock, um, just grab yourself a buoy ball and a bunch of rope you don't care about. Get up current from it, from the piling you want to be around, go through. Have a buddy with a boat hooked up top. Go retrieve that buoy ball. Tie off. When you're ready to leave, just do the exact opposite, throw the buoy ball out, let the current push you away, and then uh, drive back up, grab the boat hook, pull the buoy ball back in. Uh, make sure it is a rope you don't care about. These pylons are covered in barnacles and will chafe your rope pretty badly. I see it. Yeah, you know. Obviously having a spot lock is the way to go, but the buoy ball costs about a hundred bucks. Spot lock cost four or five thousand dollars. If anyone's interested how we bust the crabs up to catch Tog, um, you just get a blue crab like this, pop his claws off, pull the apron out right here, and you're gonna pop the shell off. Take one hand, hold the legs down, use the other hand, pull the, the shell off the top there. And then I cut them in quarters straight down the middle here, and then right in between the second and third digit there. There is times where I'll use a half crab instead of a quartered crab. You know, if I'm in deeper water, I feel like there's bigger fish around or if I'm kind of trying to catch a big drum or whatnot. Um, then to hook it, just take the hook, go right through the knuckle, out the bottom of the shell. Works great. That's the same way I caught my 14 and a half pound tog earlier this year. Of course, that was way offshore. Uh, yeah. No. That might be a keeper sea bass, though. Close. Yeah, that one might be Close. worth measuring. Looks like it. Where is he coming at? Yeah, he's a keeper. 13 and a half. All right, I'll take it. Mixed bag today, my friend. Net. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Another really couple tacos. I think she'll measure. Dude, you're a fucking horrible. In the back of the boat. This might be a black drum. This is a tog. It's a hell of a tog. Red drum. 
or keep. Yeah, he will keep. Fuck it. You're not what I wanted. Yeah. I'll take it. No, it's fun. So yeah, didn't get much time to fish where we wanted to. Um, maybe about an hour, but did manage to scratch out a few fish for the bag. I did catch a bigger tog, but of course the camera wasn't on. But thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Do all that good stuff.